Welcome to my next video. Um, this is actually a project, a smaller project for a bigger project. I'm working on a pinball machine. Seems like a lot of people are doing that uh, now, but I'm going to try to do it solely using or Arduinos or, you know, AT Megas. Um, uh, but it actually stick with, uh, as you saw in my blog, I'm going to go with the NBA hang time theme. Um, it's always been my favorite game growing up. So I thought, oh, it'd be kind of cool as a pinball. I got all kinds of ideas in my head, but uh, I figured I'd do a blog about it when I get new updates and things. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, you can clearly make out there's uh, three megas, three wave shields by Adafruit, um, and a bunch of other stuff. These all are tied together and talking through the I2C protocol with the two uh, wires there, the blue and green. Now these three Arduinos are being controlled by this Mega. So this Mega sends out data over the I2C lines. These read it and uh, play music depending on what numbers you send it. Um, what's great about this, it's now enabling you to have multiprocessing. So you can play three things at one time. Um, so the way I have it set up, there's three SD cards here. One's music, like background music. One's going to be uh, sound effects. And the other one's the uh, commentator. You have to have uh, the commentator in, in the NBA hang time machine. Everyone knows that the sound really makes this uh, this game. So I try to do my best here to uh, show you. I actually had to go through and individually rip every single sound out of the game. I used a program called, oh, what was it called? M1, I believe. I took a MAME ROM and it chopped it up. It had like 3,000 tracks or something. I had to go through each one and individually rip it and then convert it to a WAV file that these shields can play. But enough talking, uh, let me show you how it works here. Um, let me go ahead and plug it in here. That's going to power up the Mega. And then I have the uh, these running through the 12-volt system here. So if I turn it on, as you can see all the lights turning on, that's them all booting up. Uh, here's just a little control box I have built just to uh, just as a test box for switches. So I push this. Midway presents Tonight's matchup, is it the shoes? <laughs> um, these are just playing through random clips right now. And this is going to be your sound effects. This is like baskets. And this one will be music. Now what's cool... Down court. From 18. Outstanding. So as you can tell, it's playing three things at one time. Now let me turn this off real quick here. Reset the, uh, the music. Now I'm not done with the code yet, but I set up a, a function here. I'll show you here. You can look at also, I have the uh, this code online as well, but uh, I basically send it, if you can see here, it says send effects. It says three, then random number. Random number is any number between zero and 50, um, and that allows you to choose a random sound effect or saying if you want to do randomness. Uh, and then the, the number three is like the, the group of them. The way I numbered them on the SD card, it's actually zero through 50, 100 through 150, 200 through 250, and then the code then chops it up, does a little bit of math, and allows you to do random numbers or pick the numbers you want. I kind of have it printed out here so you can see here, like, commentator, each one of these is kind of like the, the group, the group of sayings he has per thing. So, you know, if you put five in to the computer and send it through, it would do all the on-fire sounds or anything you'd want to do here. So I'll give you a quick test here. As you can see, he was talking, uh, doing shots, dunk scores. So on commentator, I'll pick, let's do rebound, number 11. So if I come over here on the computer, this is just for test. Uh, it'll be easier when it's all done. And I go to my send commentator. You can see here, it says 10. I'm going to switch this to 11. Let me upload this real quick. It's uploading. 
Now, when I push the commentator button, it should do rebound noises. He grabs the rebound. As you can tell. He takes the rebound. Rips down the rebound. And then you can play music still. So, you know, you shoot. Boom. Grabs the ball. So, yeah, this is all, uh, it can all be done on the fly. So, uh, when, when you do the pinball, different things will signal these to do uh, different sounds. I think it worked, came out pretty well. And, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it.